Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Well, today is Mask Monday, so happy Mask Monday, Mask Monday ladies, and everyone else who decided to do a mask today, happy Mask Monday to you as well. Today we are going to be talking about why we need to mask in some of the different kinds of masks, because the list is endless, um, that are out there. And I'm going to go ahead and start with what I am wearing. And I am wearing one of my absolute favorite, and that is the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. And I'm also wearing the Perlis Blue Lotus Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask. And I'm not going to tell you any more about the masks for now. Uh, I'm going to wait until I can put my glasses back on with the mask I'm not able to. I'm going to go ahead and go into detail on what these two masks are about. But I'm also going to talk about the importance of masking and what we need to do to select a mask that we are needing. And I'm going to go ahead and start with why we should mask. And again, sheet masks are my struggle when I talk because they do start coming up. And as you can see, there's still plenty of serum in there. It's just not staying. Um, but let's go ahead and get back. I know, squirrel, again. And this is an article that I found on penmedicine.com, which I will also link down below in the description box. And it talks about the different kinds of masks for your particular skin uh, and why we should mask. Uh, it says that uh, masks help your skin receive what the mask is, is intended to do. Um, with that, and it, this comes to mind, and I have thought about this a lot, and I do know a little bit more about sheet masking than I did when I first started, which has not been that long. Um, sheet masks are intended to put a barrier on your skin so that you're able to absorb the properties that are on the mask itself. Uh, what I have learned is on a sheet mask, if you happen to leave it on too long and it starts drying, rather than depositing into your skin, it's going to be extracting from your skin. That is a very important thing with sheet masks. If you start seeing that it's drying, absolutely take it off. Uh, because by then it's no longer helping you. It's actually removing from your skin. Um, this is just something that I have learned along the way, and it was mentioned in this particular um, article. Then we have the moisture, hydration, and oil control. Learn the type of skin that you have, because that is going to be very important when it comes to masking. A uh, mask is not just necessarily the sheet masks, and I will show you a variety of the ones that I do currently own. And it has to do with your particular skin type. Do not use something for oily skin on something that is intended for dry skin. Chances are you're going to make your skin oilier. And that's not to say that it is for all masks, because I also use masks that are intended for oily skin uh, on my dry skin and simply because there's going to be certain things going on with my skin. So the main, main thing to do is listen to your skin. Your skin will tell you what it needs if you're paying attention to it. Uh, if you see dry patches or if you see excessive oiliness in certain areas, target those areas, take care of your skin. Um, I've always had a skincare routine as far back as I can remember. It was not as intense as it is now, obviously. Um, a lot of it had to do with financial reasons, but it is still a skincare routine. Cleanse your skin, hydrate your skin, moisturize your skin, and protect your skin. Those have always been my goals with my skin. Protection, sunscreen. I've always used sunscreen when it comes to my face. I don't necessarily follow that rule on my body, which I should, but I do not. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this because I did apply it uh, before filming, but I forgot the masks and I went looking for them. So it's been on the 10 minutes that it is requiring. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And as you can see, there is still plenty of serum in there. And I just rub it in. 
Now the foils, I'm going to leave a little longer and I will explain when I read on the foils. Let's go ahead and talk about the different types of masks that there are out there and it is overnight clay sheet mask and for me, I added it, it's the peel off masks. Those are absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove these now and just toss them and there is still plenty of serum in here. I do apologize, I keep calling squirrel, but <laughs> okay, on the overnight masks, those are the masks that, especially for mature or over drying skin, have extreme benefits. They do contain hyaluronic acid for the most part. Um, they are, they target extreme dryness and mature skin because it helps with the wrinkles, it helps replenish, restore, uh, if I may. And because you are resting and relaxed at night, you're not in the environment, you're not adding additional stresses to your skin, that is the reason it works. Uh, then we have clay masks and clay masks can come in a variety of different uh, formulas and that is peel off mask which is why I added the mask the peel off they have peel off mask they have a hydration clay mask clay uh, for the most part especially when I was much younger clay masks were intended for oily skin and that was you you did not wear a clay mask if you had dry skin that was going to crack and peel and just cause more stresses on your skin than necessary. However, and I do have several of them <laughs> that I can use and they're clay mask, but they do not crack. They do not feel over drying. Um, it does not feel tight and it just doesn't feel like a clay mask did way back in my day. Um, but definitely masks that I enjoy, so I do enjoy clay masks even though I do have dry skin. I'm just careful of which clay mask I select and what the ingredients are and how it is going to benefit my skin. Um, then we have sheet masks. And sheet masks, like I said, they are hydrating and moisturizing and replenishing and there are so many different varieties of it to get into. But I'm going to go ahead and read off of the, the masks themselves because I did say I was going to come back and do that. And I just need my glasses. And for this one, it is a Blue Lotus Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask, the Perlice. And it says, Beauty Through Asian Wisdom. Uh, it says, This natural fiber mask infused with Blue Lotus Seaweed and Restorative Asian Botanicals delivers antioxidants, minerals, and minerals to your skin. The power blend soothes and nourishes while fighting facial radicals and improving skin texture. Blue Lotus improves skin inflammation while seed seaweed smooths leaving skin healthy, beautiful, and radiant. And this is absolutely true with the Perlice brand. Well, several other brands as well, but the Perlice brand for masks, I absolutely love it. The skincare of Perlice. It is absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to talk about the Wander Beauty and Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. And this one says uh, that it is a foiled, gold foiled eye mask to brighten, hydrate, and reduce the appearance of dark circles. Experience three innovative layers of luxury. The gold helps retain and prevents evaporation, allowing the maximum amount of serum to penetrate the skin. The middle layer is elastic allowing the mask to adhere better to skin and the third is a cellulose fiber that con condenses and delivers key ingredients effectively giving you all the skin loving benefits you need. Hyaluronic acid uh, delivers intense hydration to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Aloe leaf extract and lavender oil offer a cooling effect while soothing and calming the eye area. These are all the benefits that I do experience every time I use the Wander Beauty um, eye masks. And But the main, main thing, um, and I keep coming to it, is listen to your skin. 
if you listen to your skin, you will know what you need. Do I need hydration? Do I need moisturizing? Do I need a peel? Do I need to exfoliate? It will tell you what you need. Clogged pores, you'll start getting blemishes. Um, just listen to your skin. I do. I often listen, and I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just providing information that I myself have researched and use on myself. I'm not a pro. I don't claim to be a pro, which is why I will link the website down below where I found uh, this information for today. And then we have, let me see if I covered everything. The main, main thing, absolute main thing. I know I say everything is a main thing. Absolute main rule to follow is remove it immediately if you start feeling pain, stinging, irritation, burning, redness, anything to that effect, remove a mask immediately. It may be that your skin is sensitive to it, allergic to it. There may be an ingredient in there that is not agreeing with you. Remove it immediately and then start taking care of your skin to replenish uh, the damage that was done. I've only experienced that maybe once or twice. Um, I remove it immediately as soon as anything starts stinging, so I do not wait. <laughs> <laughs> that is just a given unless the instructions say that it's going to cause some stinging because it's doing intense uh, repairing through the inside. I'm not going to take that for granted. So that is pretty much all I have for Mask Monday. Once again, thank you all for joining me and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed, smile always. Bye.